Okay, so off in the distance, that's the village of Jofen. Uh, that's the, the village proper. Uh, at the very top of the hill, though, you can see that the buildings are a lot smaller, and that's actually because that's a cemetery. Uh, typically in Taiwan, they try to keep their cemeteries and tombs far away from the villages so they can forget about them, they can ignore them, and then they, they don't have to worry about being influenced by any ghosts wandering into the village. Uh, but they've kind of done something strange here, and I hope to get to that in another video. But what I want to show is another little tomb that's right around here. So this is a much more common practice uh, in Taiwan, where people will try to bury their relatives much farther away from the village, so there's not much influence. Here, this is uh, actually probably a bone jar rather than a, a tomb. Um, and it's a very anonymous person, but the family members probably know exactly who this is. So in Taiwan, what they'll do is, uh, after you're buried for about 10 years, they'll remove your bones, they'll clean them, and put them in a little container or a little pot. Usually the pot lid will have your information, biographical information, uh, on the inside, uh, on the underneath of the lid. So family members will know who you are, um, but the idea is to keep you kind of far enough away at arm's reach or even out of arm's reach. So here it's very anonymous. Normally these would have at least some sort of indicator. Um, and I wasn't sure what this was at first. I thought it was actually a drain because we're looking at the side of a mountain here. Um, but here, just very quickly, um, the giveaways here are the two little vents. There are some screens in there that actually will prevent critters from getting in and disturbing the remains. Um, but these bricks look pretty fresh, so this looks like it was at least recently taken care of. But you can see that there's a sensor for incense uh, with some cigarettes. There's some money for burning if you are coming by. You can see some more of the money down here. Uh, so the money that you would burn, it's not real money, it's, uh, it's Joss money. Uh, and for the afterlife, for ghosts and spirits and the good brothers, uh, what you would do is you would burn the silver money. The, gold, uh, the paper money that has gold on it would be only for the gods. But you would burn this in order to provide for them in the afterlife and also to kind of keep them from coming to you looking for anything. Um, the two little things on either side of the incense burners are, um, those are candlestick holders and they don't have any candles in them. And you can see that there is a candle. And the candle has a lot of sim uh, symbolism on it um, for auspiciousness, including uh, some gold ingots. Uh, so making sure that the deceased are well off is a very popular uh, or a very common thing here. And then of course in the afterlife you need your cigarettes. So when they're done burning down these uh, incense sticks, they put cigarettes on the top. Looking at the top though, it goes back a little bit and uh, I would imagine at one point this was the access uh, access point and they've put rocks over it. So I'm not sure if anybody's in there. Uh, if nobody was in there, I would expect this to have been smashed out and there be no more money or anything. So I believe someone's in there. Um, I'm just not 100%. That may be indicating that there was some other burial or some other activity at another point in the past. But it's a very good location. Uh, it overlooks some running water. I can hear the running water. Actually, I can see it. Uh, with feng shui, what you want to do... Let's see if this works. So you can see a waterfall there. Uh, with feng shui, you always want to try to find the uh, the most appropriate place for your burials. So you want to have, or or for your house or for your village for that matter. So what you always want to do is have some form of running water in front. Uh, and it's preferable if you have that water coming towards you at some point. That way the water which represents wealth will come to you and then that creates even